Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at a recent article talking about a star two million times brighter than the sun disappears without a trace. I'm going to come back to that here in just a moment. First, we're over here at the website looking at the Schumann Resonance data, and you can see there's been a spike in the last 24 hours. Very strong spike at that. Shouldn't be the sun as a coronal hole that's on the sun is not directly in line with the Earth yet, or at least the energy, so it shouldn't be that. Leaves this to be a mystery once again. A lot of times when we see data in the vibration of the Earth like this, we don't know where it comes from. And I think this is another one of those examples. Now hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Once again, action-packed day. Got energy from east to west, north to south, and then Old Faithful, for whatever reasons, doesn't have anything except one spike right down there at the bottom. Not sure what's going on, but once again, another day with activity at the supervolcano. If you go to the website here, you see the, the sun tab over here on the right. That takes you to the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and you can see the sun in multiple wavelengths. The coronal hole that's facing the Earth just started facing the Earth, basically, so what we're seeing at the Schumann should not be that yet maybe in a day or two, but nevertheless, we've got activity in the Schumann. Now back to the story about the, the large star that disappeared without a trace. Here at LiveScience.com, in 2019, scientists witnessed a massive star, two and a half million times brighter than the sun, disappear without a trace. In the article, which you can find linked below, they talk about different possible theories of what happened to the star because they didn't notice the star go nova like most stars do that eventually burn completely out. They said that maybe it just quietly turned into a black hole without going nova, which is something that is not completely understood yet, and they're not even sure that that is the case with this star that's in the constellation of Aquarius, which Aquarius is right there. It's in front of uh, Mars and between Saturn and Jupiter. There's Saturn and Jupiter in the night sky. I took that photo myself at 4 a.m. Looking to the south, slightly southwest, Aquarius would be right there behind Jupiter and Saturn, and that's where that star was at that's no longer there. But I also have a theory as to what could have possibly happened to the star. What if something larger than the star moved in front of it, temporarily blocking the light from our view from Earth? I mean, it's a possibility. Don't know, but it's uh, one that I didn't read in this article. But again, that's a, a fascinating article that you guys can find below in the description box. Now we're going to hop over to the Do Sky Phenomena picture slideshow I put together, and I'm working on many, many more photos, guys. Here are some photos out of Dubai, sent in by David. These are unedited clouds that were in the middle of a dust storm, very low clouds that took on quite a personality during this dust storm. Once again, from the skies of Dubai, here we've got a tall smoke plume up in Las Vegas, Photos sent in here by George of the wildfire that I think is pretty much under control right now, but at the time, that smoke was billowing very high up into the sky. Kate S., some phenomenal sunset photos here. Look at that. That is a hallmark moment right there. Great observation by, by Kate S., and I don't know the location. All I know is that is from planet Earth somewhere on our little globe. And here's something going through the sky that, that Kate noticed. More than likely a jet, but there's always the chance that, that it's not. Looks like something could have possibly re-entered the atmosphere. Amy R, a spectacular giant halo around the sun. Very, very colorful. And it had a, a partner underneath it. There's a horizontal rainbow underneath the giant halo. Here's a shadow in the sky. You can see it's coming from that line right there. The, the light is reflecting off of the line in the sky, creating a shadow on the lower clouds in the atmosphere. Unique phenomenon you don't see very often. Emily C. out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, got multiple beams spanning up through the sky at sunrise. Huntington Beach, California, Chris L. There's a crescent moon behind some pink, what almost look like mammatus clouds, but, but those are not mammatus clouds, but kind of similar. Freelton, Canada, Jennifer and Brock 
a very unique sky here. It looks like a, a hole in those orange clouds that's shooting a beam of light up into the sky. Actually, multiple beams of light. Leanna C. out of Nashville, Tennessee. Unique configuration of clouds there. Kyleen, Texas. Laura, photo uh, sent in by Dan of what looks like a triangle up in the clouds. You can see the outline of what looks like a, a triangle shape anyway. Mexico City, Liz B., a spectacular sunset once again from Mexico City. These photos were taken by her uh, son or daughter over in New York. Liz is actually from New York during a rainstorm here recently that after the rainstorm, there was a phenomenal rainbow over New York City. I got a couple of photos from different people of that big rainbow. And here's, here's yet another one. Look at that, going right down in between the buildings. Mary and Aaron out of Whitmore Lake, Michigan. What look like gravity waves you'll see here in a couple of these photos that Mary and Aaron sent in. Look at those waves in the sky. They're like perfect ripples. Looks like an ocean. How about that? Now, that's not something you see every day. Very, very cool. Natalie S. out of McGregor, Iowa. That's over the... The Mississippi River, I believe, that's a very strong rain shaft. Cut me down out of that supercell thunderstorm. Rock to bot out of Seattle. Clouds in the sky that almost look like submarines. How about that? Again, not something you see on a daily basis. Sam E. out of England. Notice what looked like a, a person up in the sky looking out a window. That white cloud represents the window. Darker cloud represents the person. Northwest Florida, Todd C. Yet another horizontal, colorful rainbow up in the sky all by itself. Bushkill, Pennsylvania, Dominic and Cindy T. This here is open for interpretation. I'll leave it up to you guys. Some people see a shark. Some people see a person praying. Some people see a cherub. I'll leave it up to you as always unique photograph jenny j sent in a, a photo actually a couple of photos this is the one that i used for the video presentation of what looks like triangles in the sky or at least in the clouds in the sky near the moon check that out here i enhance it just a little bit and you can see what looks like one two three four five at least ten maybe more shapes, geometrical shapes of triangles near the moon. Florida, William H. Got the sunrise reflecting off of the lake. Wendy R. out of Naples, Florida. Wow, that's spectacular. That's that Saharan dust from just a few days ago down in Naples, Florida at sunset. There's some sort of a ominous looking shelf cloud as it looks like storms are getting ready to roll through the area. L.A. Savage out in New Zealand. Very colorful cloud high above New Zealand. This one here has got what look like gravity waves or some sort of unique clouds above New Zealand. Here's some little ships. Clouds shaped like ships. Luke S. out of Somerset, England. Spectacular double-decker rainbow coming down into the city. Cassidy M. Skywatch 180. Fiery orange and gold sky. Here it's been enhanced a little bit. Not by me. This is how it was sent in where it looks like a, a very intense red. Bulgaria. Beautiful photo here of a, a very intense pink sky, and that's unedited. I did not touch that in any way. Mark out of Tennessee. This is from back on the 29th when storms went uh, down through the Mississippi River Valley. And that's a look at one of the storm fronts as it was making its way through Middle Tennessee. Northern Arizona, Mary H. Got a very unique photo here of what looks like an eye in the sky during a recent sunset visible from northern arizona check that out how cool is that again not something you see every day bob h out of jackson tennessee no storms in this photo just a bright fierce orange sunset stacy out of merkel texas some fabulous photos here of recent storm activity down in the state of texas look at those clouds absolutely spectacular Great observation, Stacy. Thanks for sharing. Look at that one there. It looks like it's reaching down, completely touching the ground like, like these here. Let me back that up just a second. See those clouds right there? They look like they're on the ground. Incredible. There's a full version of that photograph. Almost looks like wildfire smoke. Another photo out of Texas by Nina M. Towering supercell thunderstorm. So tall it's glowing. The sunlight reaching all the way across the sky that's about to set, but it's glowing off of the cloud, turning it into 
what looks like a, a big ship in the sky. How about this here? Kim W. out of Barrie, South Australia. Looks like a gator in the sky. Or a crocodile, however you would prefer to interpret that. That is absolutely phenomenal. Great job, guys. You are wide awake and on the ball. If you're new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, simply double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and make sure the bell is still activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.